the follow-up shot not quite so impressive. Greening to Shera. Here's Miller. Always danger when he's in possession. goals in his last 11 appearances now for Kevin Phillips a born goal scorer who's uh, found the net wherever he's been in what's been such a marvellous career and here he is in possession again and that ball finds Miller who's onside he could go all the way this time and he has two goals in just over a minute for the Baggies Miller made the first scored the second side well still got a lot to do one on one what does he do just keeps it around the goalkeeper's feet it's a good finish but shocking defending Rollins with the free kick it's a decent effort and it's Ainsworth on hand to turn it home the perfect response Miller As a player on top of his game, confidence high. Just watch Barker. Greening, Phillips. Killed brilliantly! What a magnificent goal by the goal scoring master Kevin Phillips! Fantastic finish, great technique, but look at the time, the space. Oh, I'll just put it in the top corner, like on a training pitch. Be delighted with what he's seen so far. He doesn't look it, but I'm sure he is. There goes Phillips. Miller up with him. He'll fancy the hat trick. Denied by the goalkeeper. Miller's still in there. Ah! What a finish that was! Again, look at the gaps. Should have played it Miller now. Doesn't go for the hat It's a good save by Camp. And they don't deal with the second one. It's bouncing around. In he comes and look at that for a strike. Unstoppable. A wonder goal then for Albion's captain, Fantastic, who was revelling in his new role. You know, he didn't even really say much, he just kept giving me it. I was thinking, no, oh, sooner or later, he's definitely going to give it, give it to someone else. And, um, you know, it's just been be nice to keep it all year. You know, each game I keep thinking he's going to take it off of me, but, you know, I keep getting it, so it's been really good. He's our main core of the team. He sits in that midfield and he, he's always on the ball, he always wants the ball. Oh, he's, he's just, he's just great. Uh, all his brains are in his feet. Back in back green! What a goal! Speaks volumes when I think two or three teams have played us this year and stuck a man on him and marked him man for man throughout 90 minutes. And that says a lot, you know, about a player. I remember playing Palace and Neil Warnock had um, put a man on me all game. I just couldn't get any room whatsoever. And um, he came up to me after the game as I was walking off here and he actually apologised for doing it. Dictates the tempo of every match he plays in. Um, top quality. A great representative for the club, I think. His passing's good and he, he covers a lot of ground. He's worked great. I mean, he's been phenomenal this season. He's been massive for us. I think, you know, going out on the pitch, you try and, you know, not just think about your game, but try and think about others, you know, encouraging and, you know, telling people off if they need telling off and just the, the overall package, really. He's got no agendas about his personality, he just loves football really and, um, and he's got the respect of everybody because of his talent. He's never injured, he worked hard in the gym, 
performance levels are in training and in games are just a different class, you know. Yeah, he's been a miss when he hasn't played, but then I can't really, I can't remember when he hasn't played. Um, so, you know, Jono's a tremendous player on and off the field.